loved ones were lost three years ago. We still wonder where they went and why. Well, I want to ask you about the show. Uh, the season finale was really a riot. And you, Kevin, uh, Nora, Jill, and the baby had to leave. What happened afterwards? <laughs> well. Well, for who? Um, yeah. That's a big question. Um, uh, there's going to be a, a geographic move for this sort of cobbled together family. Uh, and they're going to try and begin again. Um, and they're going to begin again with numerous other characters that are being introduced to the show. Uh, and they're going to this very sort of miraculous place uh, named Miracle. Um, and uh, things get weird again. <laughs> <laughs> And you have the baby. Yeah, I know. Yes, Not that the yes. baby's going to be fine. Yeah. The baby's fine. <laughs> the baby's fine. How many babies did you have? We've had as many as nine, I think. I think yeah, nine. We burn through babies. We do, quick. yeah. <laughs> They're hard. We're hard on babies. So yeah. they were not the biggest challenge. What was the biggest challenge? Babies, I have no. Babies, babies were a pretty big challenge, big challenge yeah. for it's me. So you know, fun. I say they're, they're different parts of your brain. The part of your brain that's taking care of the baby and the part of your brain that's acting are different parts. It's and hard so to they're hold the baby and be like having an intense scene and know, and also being like, oh god, I don't, don't cry. cry. And then when they do start to cry, you kind of are trying to hide them. Yeah, yeah. it's you hard. Have eight others. Yeah, just in yeah. case, because the baby has to cry or be good. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's crazy. Nora, you are one of the few characters that are not violent. Uh, are you staying that way, or do you have to change in order to survive? Oh, I mean, I think Nora is certainly looking to be safe. She's looking for stability, and that's something she hasn't had for a long time. And she's hopeful she's going to find it in this place, and we see her begin there. But inevitably, the place is more complicated than they expected. And also, these two people don't know each other very well, and they're, they're still trying to figure out how to, um, how to work together in this new relationship. Mm -hmm. And there are some serious psychological complications to that reality for That's both right. of them. And so, of course, it's not going to go very smoothly. Yeah. Because Kevin is not so peaceful. <laughs> not so Kevin. peaceful. That's a lovely way to yeah, put it. He's not so peaceful. <laughs> he's considerably not calm. Yeah, <laughs> so what is he doing? What's, what's your character developing? Uh, he's, he's he, you know, you can take the crazy person out of Mapleton, but you can't take the crazy out of the crazy mm -hmm. Mapleton person. Um, he, uh, you know, he's, you know, he is faced with a dilemma of having to either live with an extreme psychological, perhaps, disorder, or um, or tell his family about that, and maybe uh, you know find the same accommodations as his father on the show. Um, so there's a that's the tension I think, in the, or the downward pressure in his life. Um, add to that, he's still I think, a la season one, trying to sort of wrap his arms around a family and and mm -hmm. and gin that up again, so that he can have those sort of warm feelings that he had before or took for granted, maybe at certain times in his life. What do you think is the success the secret of the show? I think it doesn't follow a pattern that's mm -hmm. recognizable to people, mm -hmm. which I think can initially be frustrating. Um, but I think once you sort of release into it mm -hmm. and accept that this is the way this story is going to be told, mm -hmm. it's incredibly rewarding because you can, it, it asks you to sort of go along for the ride of, you know, sort of this slightly sci-fi concept, but very quickly it goes into, you know, biting down on the emotional lives of these people mm -hmm. and the way they interact. And they're all really kind of trying to find the same thing, which is sort of security, love, peace, hope. Mm -hmm. um, they're just doing it in incredibly different ways. And so sometimes that meets, sometimes that misses, and sometimes that collides, you know. And it's a supernatural premise, but really I think the emotional authenticity is what people are responding to. I think the emotions feel very yeah. real and present. And Doing our best. Because the writing is incredible. It's He's incredible, a great, yeah. great, great, great writer. Wonderful writer. Yeah, we're so lucky. <laughs> we just make the faces. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs>